one of the hardest things I find when it comes to my turtle tank is what background do I want to put on it? You have all these different styles, people telling you to do just black, just blue, or a nice scene on the back, and it's hard to tell because you want your turtle to pop, but you also just want it to look a little natural, right? So in this video, I'm gonna install four different types of background for my 125 gallon turtle tank here to see which one I like best. And hopefully this gives you a good idea of what kinds of backgrounds look good with pet turtles, because there's a lot of different suggestions for fish, but what is it for turtles? I don't know. So let's get installing, comparing, let's check it out. All right, like I said, I have four different styles of background here. They're all PVC vinyl type rolls because I don't believe in painting tanks. I know, terrible opinion, I'm sure, but I just bought this really nice tank and this really nice setup. I don't want to just put some permanent cheap paint on the back of it. I want to keep that flexibility open. I want to be able to change the background because you can put a black background on like we're going to do today. You can put different colors on, but if I paint it, that's permanent. I don't like that. It's hard to resell too. So to start, we have our basics. We have blue, we have black, and then we get a little fancier and we have like this inside aquarium that's super scaped with a lot of vegetation. And lastly, we have just water with a nice sand bottom and you can see the reflection of the light on that sand there. So right now in the back of my tank, you can see I just have glass, no background at all. So obviously you can see all the tubing, all the wires that are going to different lights and our heater, and that just doesn't look awesome, especially once you look a little closer. Uh, you start to notice these things and when you're around them a lot. So some quick tips before we start installing our backgrounds on your tank. First of all, buy ones that are a little bit bigger than the glass of your tank that you're gonna be putting this over. Because what we're gonna do is trim it and that will make it so it fits perfectly on the back of the tank and not bending around things or missing some parts. It'll look perfect back there because you're gonna be trimming it to exactly the size of the tank. Second is don't have your tank completely set up. Yeah, that's a good tip because mine is completely set up. All the filter tubing, all the brackets are all installed on the back. So this is gonna be quite hard for me to do because that's really gonna get in the way of me installing this in the best way possible. And what's the best way possible? Well, it's getting a high quality vinyl and either using a spray liquid that you can buy from aquarium stores for this exact purpose and spray it on the glass and on your background and then you squeegee it out so that it has no air bubbles. It's kind of like putting a screen protector on your phone. It kind of goes that way and then it really looks nice and you don't have any air bubbles or anything like that. You can also just use soap and water, that'll help you too. And the last thing you can do, and it's what I'm gonna be doing today because I'm a little bit stuck in a corner, your last resort is using some sort of adhesive, whether or not that's double-sided tape, just single-sided tape, but you're wrapping it around on the trim, um, or some sort of clay adhesive that you can stick to an uh, unassuming part of the back of your tank. Uh, that's totally up to you. There's a lot of ways to do this. Uh, but again, using some sort of liquid to attach it is gonna be your best bet. It's gonna give you the highest quality result. So let's start with our first color. It's going to be blue. All right, the blue is installed. Let's take a closer look. Again, if you were to do this yourself, you would clean the back of the glass first. So that's why you're seeing those spots in the glass, but otherwise use your imagination. Those are gone. This is what blue looks like. First impressions, turtles really stand out and it looks really nice. Looks a little bit aquarium story, but they use blue for a reason too. Cut the lights. All right, another tip, get a background that has two different colors. The back of this blue background is black, so that's our next color. All right, let's check out the black with the lights on. That looks really good. Now with both this black and blue, they're solid colors, but if you put this on with a squeegee, it would stand out even more, so keep that in mind be a little less reflective than you're seeing right now. But again, these solid colors really make things pop inside the tank. 
Lights out. Still looking really good. The contrast there is epic. All right, next ones, we're gonna go with this epically escaped aquarium. All right, let's take a look at the slightly more realistic aquarium, planted tank type design. It actually looks quite nice. The green really blends in a little more than I thought it would. Got those fake fish in the back. That's a little bit goofy. Hopefully the turtles aren't like, oh man, thought I had a snack. I think it looks quite nice. Flip it. All right, last but not least is that seafloor background. What are we thinking? Not matching quite as well as I thought it would, but the sand on sand is kind of cool. Hit the lights. It's a nice subtle background. And there you have it four different backgrounds on a 125 gallon aquarium. Hold on y'all, I forgot five because no background's a background, right? To summarize, we had blue, we had black, we had that aquarium planted type tank style, and then we had our seafloor style that you see here installed right now. I think they all have their pros and cons. So put in the comments section what your favorite background was for the turtle tank here. And whatever one gets the most positive comments, I'll put that on the back of my tank because right now I can't decide indecision is killing me. Please help me by putting it in the comments section. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and long live your turtle.